Right, let's try searching. <laughs> Can we really start like... Look how many things there are to search. Holy fuck. Alright, let's search here. There's a ton of books here. Grandpa reads a lot. There are even a lot of learn-to-do-it-yourself books. Grandpa isn't that handy, though. His hands shake too much. But I guess he still likes learning. Yeah, that's one of the problems I had when I took up smoking. Uh, I quit now, but... I, I, I can roll a script because my hands are too shaky. <laughs> it just went everywhere. Alright, uh, Muhammad Ali tried to roll one. Alright, let's go here. This plant lives so long, I think it's older than me. That's how plants work. Grandma used to display a lot of things here to make the house look nice. Yeah, and now he doesn't care. <laughs> it's March. The concert will begin on March 31st, so it's the 24th today. Or is it the 25th? 25th, probably. This is a simple music box. I'll assume it's grandpa's because grandma's because it's pink. Grandpa must have put it on display so he won't forget her. I was going to say, she must be dead because we haven't seen it yet. Ah, oh, cheerful. I thought it was like a diamond box, honestly. Uh, this album is partly burnt. Album? It looks like a mirror which someone has spat blood onto. Does Grandpa put it out to remember the fire? Grandma died in that fire seven years ago. Oh, lovely. I thought Grandpa wouldn't want to be reminded of that day, but here he is, leaving it out. I hope it doesn't make him depressed. Hey, there are photos of me when I was a baby in here. And here's Mum and Dad when they used to live here. So it's probably that. Alright, whatever. Right, let's move. Town guest room. Let's go to the guest room. Is there... Oh, we could search up in here. This alarm clock used to be Mum's when she was a teenager. Things sure were durable back then. Yeah, and absolutely fucking massive. Dear oh, Lord. This is a picture of Grandma when she was young. She was in the signing singing group, but I don't know the name. Grandpa keeps fresh flowers in here. Either he keeps fresh flowers or he did this to brighten up my week. It's probably that. I have a ton of clothes here and a few other belongings. Uh, what's in here? There are just old clothes here. Ah, I don't need to see Mum's old underwear. That is just... Why doesn't he just burn it? Oh, whatever. They're really frilly. Wonderful. This bed is really comfortable. You think like, like a granddad. He'd just be like, no. If I start talking to myself, Gramps will think I'm really nuts. But yeah, you think if you just um have a comfortable bread, I thought like a bread bed, Grandad would just be like, no, not today. And like, just fit you on some stone slab. Ah, it's finally. It's quite light. This place sure is busy. It's so loud, you would think you're in a big city. It's like a party outside. I should set up a street performance to earn some money. I'll be broke if I spend the last bit of my cash on breakfast. I can even use this as an opportunity to gain some confidence before my performance. So you've never played before? Slightly odd, but okay. Alright, all right, everything's set up. Here I go. I should play something by memory. That'll impress them. What should I play? <laughs> Alright, so we can either play Strinos. Oh no, we can... is that Strings or Strinos? Alright, fuck it. We'll call it Strinos because it sounds Italian. We can either play Strinos or Strinos. We'll play Strinos. nice music actually it's very fitting but then again I've always liked the violin I'm getting a nice collection of coins maybe this is enough the crowd that gathered really seemed to like my performance I should really do this again sometime apart from her this girl standing in front of me is she planning on giving me a tip it's a bit weird for her to stand there and not do anything <sighs> she's just staring at me how much longer is she going to do that hey what is it you're not from here, right? I've never seen a violinist perform here before. Thanks, I think. <laughs> and I'm just here visiting the town. Great. Look, mate, um, we need to have a bit of a talk. Basically, what's happened here is a ginger person has stood in front of you. Run. Run as quick as you can. Don't look back. Get breakfast. Run. Cool. Right, now we got that out of the way. I know that song. It sounded better when the original singer sang it. Hey! So it turns out she's going to be like 60 years old and heard my grandma sing. Right. Oh, no, I have to go! Oh, oh good. Okay, uh, bye. Alright, I just got a latte and a muffin from that cafe. And my grandpa's ringing me. Hi, Gramps. I just bought breakfast and I'm going to be back at dinner. Is that okay? As long as you make it back before sunset. Since you're out, go pick up something for me. Sure, would you need me to pick up? I have a violin being repaired at a friend's shop. Go there and tell him Mason sent you. 
He's called Mason. Yeah, all right. Okay, where is it? You're downtown, right? You must have passed Larry's music shop. I can see it from here. Oh yeah, it's around here somewhere. I can go for you. Good, don't take long. Okay, time for the music store. All right, let's talk to someone first. This ice cream man looks like a cool guy. <laughs> He stood there and just thought about, hmm, who should I talk to? Yeah, all right. It's a nice day, day, isn't it? Yep, that's all. I guess townies aren't all that chatty. All right, let's search. Uh, let's go to here. The antique store is really dusty inside. My allergies are going to act up if I go in. His allergies. Okay, so that doesn't really say anything. Can we go in? Hmm, I can't forget the best cup of coffee I had from this place. I don't know, essentially. What's here? The place is very busy. There are a lot of street performers here, and they seem really talented. Too bad I can't snag a spot to earn some tips. You just did. All right, let's go to Larry's Music Shop. Larry's Music Shop sure sells some interesting instruments. Some of them look like they're from the East. Okay, so you've got to move there. Gotcha. Move. Larry's Music Shop. Well, there's a ton of things I could buy in here if I ever run into a musical emergency. I might even get a discount since Grandpa and the store owner are friends. Not sure that's... In fact, I'm pretty sure that is the way it works in towns. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can tell, but I've always lived in cities. Well, maybe I can ask if I need to. Hello, Mason sent me to pick something up. Hmm, no one is around. It's almost noon. Is the guy out for lunch? Shouldn't this guy lock up if he's out? What if someone comes in here and steals something? It's a town. They don't do that. All right. Can we talk? Hello, is anyone here? No one answers. All right, let's search. Guitars. <laughs> Why are there... A Oh, right. Okay, I was going to say. Why are there acoustic guitars displayed with the electric? I thought he was just going to ask about acoustic guitars. That's like, three of them aren't. They usually sort out instruments by type. I guess the only thing saw guitars should be displayed in the same place. Lessons. There are a lot of learn itchy self books. Damn straight there are. Oh, wind instruments. There are instruments from all around the world here. Some of them look quite old. Boxes. Some stock remains unpacked. And gift cards. They sell holiday cards in a music shop. Well, I guess you can do whatever you like if you're a small business owner. And here as well. They say gift cards here. Yeah. And a till. <laughs> I shouldn't steal even if I am broke. Spite. Besides, I don't know the password to the machine. Alright, so that's that, is it? Aha, there's something here as well. Oh, piano. What's this? I can hear someone playing the piano through this door. Could it be the owner? He may be out to lunch, but he's just in another room. I could just go in and ask him for Grandpa's violin. I don't want to wait an hour for him to finish his lunch break. Let's move in. All right, then let's do that then. Uh, <laughs> all right, I see why they put move around inverted commas. Uh, hallway. I'll go speak to him. What the fuck is that? Please don't interrupt me. Trespassers will be shot. Survivors will be shot again. Alright, search. Underneath it, it says staff only. I'll pr just pretend I didn't see that, so I have an excuse to wander around. And the door. I hope they don't mind if I go inside. They probably do. Back. Uh, can we talk? Hello, is anyone there? No one answers. Okay, let's just move. Staff area. It's locked. I knock to get his attention. Oh, okay, so she does not look best happy. Oh dear. It's that girl I met earlier. Is she the owner? She looks a little young to be one, though. And she looks mad. Ahem. Hey, may I? <laughs> Are you gonna answer this? Fucking hell. Uh, I'm sorry, it's my phone. Hold on a minute. Hello? Gray, I forgot to tell you. But make sure you don't pay because I did that already. Make sure they remember. I don't have much cash on me anyway, so even if I tried, I couldn't. Don't break it on your way back, yeah? Well, unless I run into the Piper Girl, it's very unlikely. Yep, bye. I hang up before, while she continues to stare. So, what are you doing here? No one is allowed back in. I heard this nice melody and I thought I should follow it. Oh, really? Don't you see the staff only sign? Well, there are no signs. Oh? Oops. <laughs> hey, you're the shop owner, right? I came to pick up a violin for my grandpa. Mason, I didn't want to wait until you finished your lunch break. Grandpa? You're Mason's grandson? Wow. What? Well, well done, Sherlock. <laughs> yeah, do you still have his violin? The girl glances down at the latte in my muffin bag. You really think you can carry it with all that? It's just a violin, right? If there's a lot of stuff to pick up, I look like a less of a fool with my violin case strapped on my back. I hope. He left more than the violin. You can't carry it all with that in your hands. Oh, really? Let's go to the counter. 
It's really like massive, isn't it? It's like five violins and seven guitars or something. Hmm. My grandpa already paid for the repairs. Really? I don't see a receipt or a note or anything like that. What? I'm sure you can remember my grandpa paying. No, I don't. You don't get the violin until you pay. What? Don't tell me you're forgetful. I never forget, especially concerning something like this. I'm going to trust my grandpa and not the ginger kid. Just saying. Then what should we do? I could give my grandpa a call. Hey, you're really Mason's grandson? Yeah. Hmm. What is it? You play violin just like him. I guess it runs in the family. You mean music? I guess, but it's sort of skipped a generation. My mum can't play at all. I see. <laughs> she could just not give less of a damn about you. It's just like, oh, uh, all right then. Yeah. Good, mate. So about the violin. Risa. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, what do you look like? What is that moustache? It looks like you got it out of a cracker box. Oh, my Lord. All right. Yeah? Who's that? I got you a sandwich. Oh, who do we have here? This is Mason's grandkid. He's here for his violin, but I didn't see anything about Mason already paying for the repairs. I can handle it for here. From here? From here. You can go eat. Okay, Grandpa. Oh there, um, uh, he's studying me. I'm getting uncomfortable. Does this family know they have a staring problem? Ah, oh, you look just like Mason. What is your name? My name's Gray, and you were the owner of the store, right? Yes, I'm Larry. <laughs> Larry. <laughs> really, you look quite oriental to be a Larry. This is my shop. My granddaughter, Risa, was watching the store while I went out to buy lunch. And now I've come back, I can't fucking watch because my eyes are closed regardless. She was in the back room playing music. I don't think that's what watching the store. My grandpa paid for some repairs on his violin and I'm here to pick them up for him. Ah, oh, yes, let me take it out for you. He paid too. Yes, I know. He came by himself to do so. He should have left a note for Risa, but I thought I'd see him again myself. Oh, I should have left. <laughs> oh, good. Here you go. Do you think you can carry all this? There isn't just a violin. There's a case and a package. Tell him his order of books came in too, so you might as well take it with you. Hmm, I'll just, uh, rise up. Yes? Why don't you help this fine young man by carrying his violin for him? <laughs> I feel this girl is not going to be too happy. Uh oh, she looks mad. Mason's place is only seven blocks away. This boy can lead you there. It's all right, I'll just dump this coffee somewhere. Nonsense, don't throw them away. Risa does not mind. I'd probably say she does. The look on her face tells me she does. I would do it myself, but I have a lot of work to do. Fine. Hi, Risa. I'm Grey. I know we didn't greet each other properly before, but it's nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh, man. She doesn't seem to like me. Is that heavy? I can't make you carry those for me. Yeah, you carry this and I'll carry those. I'm fine. <laughs> really? But I can't let it go carry all those. They're not heavy at all. The awkward silence is getting worse. She could at least smile. I need a topic to break the silence. Speak about violins! So I heard this piper go. Well done, Grey. That is not a good conversation topic to bring up. I imagine they're tetchy about that as they are in every town in every secret. So, I heard about this girl, piper girl, from my grandpa. Do you think she's real? Who knows? Hmm, I wonder if all townies know about the legend. I know Mason has a grandson, but he doesn't live here. Are you visiting? Yeah, I'll be here for a week. That includes a date. I'm due for a concert afterwards. A concert, huh? I guess you're really good then. I think so. I did a lot of sucking up to people just to get noticed too. So you're staying at your grandpa's. Where did you get here? Why is she so fixated about my grandpa? Holy shit. I came here last night. Last night? During the full moon? Yeah. I can tell by the sound of her voice that that is bad. That's why you asked me about the legend, isn't it? Your grandpa freaked out, didn't he? Yeah, do you think the story is real? Do guys really disappear? Only men. <laughs> oh good, so girls don't disappear. Yep, only guys. If the story is real, what do you think happens to these guys? Why would I know? I'm just curious, not like I believe it. Then don't ask le about legends that aren't real. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> she is such a dick. We're finally here. Here's your stuff. Thanks, and uh, I hand her my muffin. What are you doing? It's compensation for your help. Think of it as a tip of some sort. She doesn't like muffins? Oh. This is from that nice cafe, but I don't need this. I can tell by the sound of her voice that she appreciates it. I... Really? <laughs> Does that look on her face say, you know what? Thank you. 
Thank you so fucking much. No, it looks like ever do that again and I'll murder you and your family. Good lord. Take it. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't take much persuasion. Okay, now I can finally eat my breakfast, except all I have left is my coffee. Ah, my violin and my order came in. Here you go. Great, I've been waiting so long for this special order. Grandpa, do you think I could get a discount at your friend's music shop? If I ran into a musical emergency, that is. It's gonna get angry. Maybe. <laughs> uh oh. When you say musical emergency, you don't mean losing your violin, do you? No, I don't. I'm just asking. Be careful with it. I know, I know. It's a family heirloom. My father gave it to me, and I don't want to see it wrecked by you. You didn't have to give me it in the first place if you didn't trust me. That's besides the point. How? What? Anyways, Gramps, if I'm going to have some fun on my vacation, you don't mind, do you? All right. Well, right after I eat something, I'm really hungry. You don't mind if I stuff my face in the kitchen, do you? Go right ahead, but don't make a mess. We're going back outside when it's clearly getting darker. This is only going to end badly, holy shit. <laughs>